Okay, folks, today we're going to work on another common pattern that's going to help for our intonation and dexterity for playing jigs like Scatter the Mud. This one is the G major arpeggio. And the notes for the G major arpeggio are G, B, and D. And the main place we're going to need to use those is right here, starting with our third finger on the D string. We should hear the open G ringing with that since this is a G note. And then our B is going to be found first finger on the A string. And then our D is going to be found third finger on the A string. So we're going to take those three notes and do something very similar to what we did yesterday, where we're going to start off with a full bar on each of the three notes. So G, that being third finger on the D string. Then one A for a B note. And then three A for a D note. Then let's link it together with a one A. And then we'll repeat the pattern. so on. Take a moment here if you need it just to kind of get that mapped out in your hand and see what that feels like. Then let's kick it 70 BPM. Take a moment here if you would like to play it with your own 70 BPM click at home or to start notching up the tempo bit by bit. Then we're going to up the challenge by going one note per bow. We're going to slightly change the pattern to make this exercise make a little bit more sense in this format. So we're going to go starting on our down bow and then we're going to start on our up bow to get back down the same three notes. 3D, 1A, 3A. 3A, 1A, 3D. Yeah, in other words. Cool, let's see how that feels at 70. challenge on this is to keep it clean and keep it in tune, of course, and to also keep our jig bowing accents going. And it can start to feel kind of like a little bit of a twister, which is what makes this such a great exercise. So don't be afraid to pyramid down. Let's go ahead and do that before I send you guys off on your way. So we can try um, from here, each little pod of three, with a little bit of time in between to think that this is going to be an up on 3A, and then two throwaways on 1A and 3D. I just mean throw away a smaller bow stroke that's not accented. Yeah, so the first three. Second three. We can break it down a little bit more. Play an accented bow stroke on 3D. Get the first finger on A, change the bow to the A and then do our two throwaways, up, down, one, three. Yeah, and then do an accented up on three A. Lift the third finger, get it over to the D string, use the side of the finger so it's not touching the A. We'll still have one on A, and we're gonna do our down, up on the A string and the D string.
All right, so the name of the game is to find that perfect sweet spot for you and then go hit it for about another minute before you call it a day.